Boom. So now we are live. <laughs> Man. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Uh I am greetings, peace and love. I am Akil Kareem Bay. Um a, a educator at uh actually um a special education educator at the Rye Schools, which is in East Point, Georgia. Um, this is my first uh, reflection video. Uh, I am reflecting reflecting um, the educational debt um, article. Um, this article was very um, very well written. Uh, I thought it was very um, thought provoking as well. Um, the author um, went on to propose that um, educational debt, which was a new construct that they were bringing up, um, must be addressed uh, because it is both um, equitable and just, um, meaning it is both the um, the um, because well, basically the highest reasoning as to why um, this uh, educational debt needed to be addressed was because it will be both equitable and just, um, which are both um, hallmarks of uh, quote unquote democracy. Um, furthermore, um, the author uh, outlines uh, three main points. Um, one that that um, educational uh, debt. Um, had strong Im implications on our lives and therein our children's quality of life. Um, and so uh, the impact uh, was w that was presented because of the um, progress of education um, was to be called in, into question. Um, I liken it to um, in real estate, there is uh, certain constructs is, is basically you have class, you, you basically stratify your, your neighborhood. So you have an A class all the way to a D class um, neighborhood. And these neighborhoods are, are, are based on, you know what I'm saying, crime, um, schooling, uh, amenities, um, parks, recreation, X, Y, and Z. And so because of that, uh, it the, the author talks about um, how uh, it would be, it is unjust to, um, to have a quote unquote A-class neighborhood um, and hold it in the same regard as a quote unquote D-class neighborhood. Um, uh, it, 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 you, you're not, you need to, to stop, basically what, um, stop faking the funk um, and, and realize that the D-class neighborhood is just that, a D-class neighborhood. And so we needed to start um, making uh, action to uh, circumvent and to, to 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 mitigate mitigate uh, the 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 reason as to why um, the neighborhoods were so different. Basically, reading re basically we needed to address the reasoning as to why that D class neighborhood was claimed or would be recognized as such. Um, another point that. Uh, they, they got into was uh, a quote by Alan Greenspan, which was um, who basically said that his biggest 
fear um, was the country's uh, competitive future um, and the negative outlook uh, that we had because of poor education, um, meaning basically uh, the United States of America, we are supposedly um, held in such high regard in terms of business and athletics and and all these other um, all these other categories, but we've had such a low um, such a low ranking when it comes to education. Um, and because of that, we began to uh, to to develop a self-fulfilling prophecy where um, because we are not um, uh, robustly addressing uh, the deficits in uh, deficiencies in our education system, we are uh, creating or, or, or limiting our youth, which would then um, promote or, 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 or end in a, in, in will lead to uh, limited um, adults who then um, have even further limited babies. So it's like it's it, it's a, again a self fulfilling um, prophecy, or or it becomes a you know you're kicking us, um, you're just kicking the can down down the street, and it, it basically <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that. you're not addressing the issue. And so because you're not addressing the issue, you continue to um, try to turn the other cheek and put it off on uh, another generation. Um, never actually, um, again, addressing the issue. Um, another point that the author talks about is the, um, or another point that the uh, author makes in the case for educational debt is the um the value and earnest understanding uh the debt in ref um the educational debt in reflection to um our previous uh findings or our previous uh um opinions in really thank you previous um, opinions about education. Um, so uh, basically there are two in interventions that have adequate um, hypothesis based testing, but they still aren't addressed, which is um, school desegregation, um, that's one way to to um, to uh, to address the issue, and then another way would be um, equitable funding. Uh, so if we could fund uh, the schools equitable in an equitable manner, that would um, lead to a more equal playing field when it comes to uh, to education and our children. Um, another point that uh, that was made in an article about by um, Orfield and Lee was that um, school segregation um, was still very much so present in. Um, in today's society, in the 21st century, it's is still present and persisting, but it just has transformed um, based on um, changing national demographics. Um, so again, an, a, a way to uh, circumvent or to combat um, th this equitable 
um, or this educational um, debt would be to uh, have equitable funding, um, which coming from a, a Title I school, I can say, um, is something that we definitely still need to be working working towards is more equitable funding um, in our schools and school systems. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. The last point that they talked about, oh, <laughs> um, was a, a forging a better educational future. Um, so one of the responses they were saying or the author was saying was by declaring educational bankruptcy. Um, essentially, we have um, when it, when a bank declares bankruptcy, they get um, a bailout from various um, pools of money, basically from various sectors. Um, but then, who bails out the educational system? Who who would be the bailout um, to to help us emerge from this um, what what was termed as educational bankruptcy? Um, that's just a, a a question that I um I I would have to uh, I'm just posing like who would be uh, <laughs> the bailout or who would bail out um the educational sector that's interesting um and then finally the last point that they made or that the author made was that um we must construct uh, a proper mental image uh to accurately convey um the the brevity or the, the seriousness behind um, this educational pain. And so once we're able to adequately convey that picture um, to other people, then we're able to, uh, to express how big of a need and how much uh, or how important it is to actually um, And and to to change the situation to 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 I'll use a, a football term to 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 go out on a all out blitz on changing uh, our school system so that we can uh, improve our the the future of our of of our lineage ultimately uh, the the future of our babies. Um, that's my reflection on the article, um, uh, <laughs> why we must, uh, defeat, what was, it? what was the name of the article? I don't have the full name of the article. Oh, man. Basically, my, my my journal on educational, defeating the educational debt. 